Okay, today we're going to be covering a tips and tricks on how to kind of accumulate gems and stop wasting gems every day. So um, some of the first things you're going to need to know is this is not an all-inclusive video. I'm not going to go over every event and which events are the best for gems. Uh, t tune into my other videos for things on events and um, other YouTubers for that. Um, this is more based on like daily things that you do, daily things that you can buy, and how to save your gems for that. So uh, with that, first thing I want to jump into is your daily tasks. So um, these daily tasks are a way a lot of people waste a lot of money because they sit here and they refresh them and refresh them and refresh them. So I want to show you guys um, kind of sort of how I do it. So depending on how many tickets you need, you kind of need to vary what you do. But for the benefit of the doubt, most people can just do all orange tasks and they will succeed and get enough tickets for what they need. Um, mech ma mechanical masters might need to do a couple of red ones, so they might have to filter through extra. But basically, I filter through until I get tasks that I'm able to do. So war hammers are things. Um, I can't really build barracks, so I skip those. But you'll see once you hit after your, fi your first five, it costs five gems to refresh. So at that point, you're starting to waste gems. So three, four, five, six. So you saw that took me 30 gems to get the gather oil. Now, everyone on here, I'm able to do for a reasonable price. Um, some of the ones I do want to show you, though, like buy items in an item store. A lot of people will go in and they will go in to buy the items and they'll sit here and they'll buy tons. You can literally buy the cheapest item there is. Um, I always buy a rose just because I'll use them for pop star at some point. So it's kind of a double benefit there, but you can buy a three gem item from here. You can buy a teleport. You can buy anything from this. You can even buy a white experience book for one gem. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. So that's kind of the first thing is to do that. Um, make sure you go through all these. You do get some gems here at the end. So you get 100 gems for finishing the last one. I don't think you get any gems otherwise. Yep. So that's how to kind of save gems here. The next place to save gems is going to be with runes. So make sure you definitely have two level two runes. And if you want to really maximize your gems, try to get relics. Try to get quests, try to get the items. The units don't give you rune or give you gems, but um, the relics, depending on the different which rewards you have during the day, there is the possibility of gems. I know just I think it was two days ago I got 440 gems for the top tier one. Um, definitely maximize those. Do your double dip days where you do your double. You are able to collect that twice. Uh, the next area that a lot of people really waste gems is in here so this is your dimensional minds this is something you should be doing every day now i see a lot of people or i've heard of a lot of people sitting and clicking through trying to find the level five gem mines or the odinium i'm gonna tell you by the time you flip through enough you've wasted more gems than if you had just gone out and buy bought in the odinium or the the outcome of the amount of gems you get is worth less than what you wasted. So what I do is I grab any level four and five mines that I see. So you'll see right here, I had three level four and five mines total. And after this is when I will hit and use one of my free detects. So I only use the free ones. So now here, You'll see I have four, four, four. I would grab all, all these, but for the sake of the video, I just want to show you guys what happens if I keep going. So I'm going to grab my fourth one, but I want to get to and show you why this is important. So after you do the previous one, so your last free one, that's when I start grabbing any mines that I can. Because you'll see right now I'm using five gems to detect. And yes, I got another Odinium, but depending on the time of day that you do this also affects things. So something to keep in mind is if you're primarily like a US server, a lot of people do reset this at, or they go in here and do these at reset. So if you wait till later in the night, like 12 hours after reset or so, you'll have a lot better odds of finding open mines. Um, 
and that goes with anywhere you kind of have to play off of who's in your server and what the majority of people are playing that affects it but if you keep going the amount of gems it takes to make or sorry the amount of gems that it costs to refresh becomes greater and you'll see you only get like 100 gems from each of these mines and the amount of odinium you get is nothing so we're talking nine hours times 30 you're talking about 207 odinium so it's not really that much so um definitely definitely one place to save gems another place to save gems is in the expedition base so um in here you don't actually get the gems but something that a lot of people do is they sit here and rush 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 now if you're trying to get your first high fire rate or you're trying to finish your first set of your um, components it's fine to do these rushes it's actually a really good value but once you're done with that there is nothing really in the the finance center expedition store for this that is worth the gems so a full gather is about a 12 hour gather is about what 1200 of the t tickets or what are they the little medallion things now if you think about it the amount that you're about to spend on here so you're talking 50 200 and if you're trying to get like your perk books, your class item chest, so I'll do it here. So I'll show you guys. I just use 50 for one of my expedition and I'm at the top level reward. So this is the maximum you get every time you hit rush. And what's going to happen is you're going to get, you get 1.68 K of the Medal of glories. Now you can come in here and you can see to get like a class item chest, it's 6 K. So that means you have to buy that four five times depending on how often you do it and that's going to cost you 200 gems you can go into the treasure store and buy it for 200 gems every single time so um definitely a place to save gems also some other things you can do to save gems is make sure you do your missions right away in the day um very first thing you do when you log in is you should reset these because some of the things are things like this where you do your quick collect um Depending on how many you get, the free collects, make sure you do just the free ones. It's definitely not worth going beyond that for anybody. And then also up in here, make sure you do your three of these a day. Again, not worth spending gems on gold ever. Um, wait the extra day, wait the extra couple days, you'll get it. Don't waste your gems on those. This is the VIP store. This is probably the most underutilized by the average player. Um, the more advanced players use this all the time because this is the best value there is. Whether you're talking about shards or teleports or vit or rare skill chests, everything in here is an amazing value. Um, very rare to find any better prices gem-wise than this. So if there's anything in here that you need, this is definitely the place to come to get it. Um, even some silly things when you're trying to speed up, don't take the extra second and come in here and buy your March speed ups here for the 37 gems instead of the 75 or 50 or whatever it is when you are out in the world trying to click faster. Also, depending on what your VIP level is, will depend on which of these is unlocked. I don't know which ones are which. I don't have that recorded. Um, I know it's probably in the top or Bible and things like that. So um, look out for that there. Now, the last couple things for getting gems is to come into your store. Make sure you're claiming these supplies as often as you can. You do come across gems occasionally. It's not a lot, but it all adds up in the long run. Um, and then the last other thing is the value progress. So um, these little, this here, this 100 gems, you do collect that every day. So make sure you hit this little present up here for free every day. And you get at least, sorry, not every day, every week you at least get this 100 gems a week. Um, and then there's one other free way to get gems, and that is to do the arms race. Make sure you're doing this every single day. This is really simple rewards. Um, if you don't know how to do it or you claim your base is full so you can't do the training, just delete a couple troops and rebuild them. It doesn't take a lot to complete any of these. The, even the kill event rewards is like three or four units in a tile or something like that. It's, it's a really 
nothing that's hard to do. And then also, if you come into your lucky chest, um, this is something I definitely don't utilize enough, and I should. You click this little plus button and go and share this with have in a Discord or someplace with all your friends. Make sure you're using this because there are a lot of rewards that you can get by sharing this and other people clicking on it and sharing and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It's not worth using the open now just to warn you. It's only worth it when you get enough of your friends to click it and share it. Or even if they're not your friends, just people that are willing to click the button anyway. So the last couple things for gems are for spenders. So um depending on your level of spending. So the first thing is the super lucky gem bag down at the bottom here. This is actually the best way to get gems. Um, you may notice this is 600 to 3,000 gems. If we go over to the gems, you'll see that 300 gems is $5, and that pack is also $5. So you have an odds of getting better rewards, and you get more. Um, the next one gives you two bags for, I think, eight ninety nine. So same thing. You're going to get way more gems for a way better deal. Um, so if you're ever trying to buy gems or save up on gems for whatever reason, definitely use the Super Lucky Gem Bag. <clears throat> the Weekly Passes, these are a great value. Um, same thing if you're trying to get gems. Buy these. Buy them every week. Definitely worth it. Definitely get the top one over the bottom one. Um, if you can, if you can't, even the bottom one's definitely worth it. It's a lot of gems for a very, very good price. Again, you'll see 5,000 gems for $5. Over here, $5 gets you 600 gems. Sorry, gets you 300 gems. So, um, definitely worth it. Custom Rewards does not get you any gems. Supreme Privilege gets you gems, so you get the ads gems that you get every day. So, when I click this, you'll see I get my 300 gems. <clears throat> um, that's 330 days of it. Um, don't remember how much it is, but definitely something to keep up on. It also gives you an extra March and other various things. So definitely worth getting. I'm going to call it a value pack here, not because it's worth it, but because I see a lot of people buying it and it's not worth it. So don't buy it from the value pack. It's not worth it unless you're absolutely in dire need of the gems. There's other better ways to get it or just being patient and waiting. Um, it's just not worth $5 for 600 gems. You can see $5 for 300 gems. It's just not, it's a better value than purchasing them through the purchase gems, but it's just not a good value in general. And now the last thing is not something I show often, but my base skins. So um, if you can obtain the rise above the flames, which gives you a heart of flames every 24 hours and the phantom ship, which gives you one to three relics in the deep chest every 24 hours or 23 hours. Sorry. Those will also give you gems. So if you come in here, you'll see relics in the deep. Um, each one can give you a hundred gems. So for a base skin, that means every day I have the opportunity of getting a hundred gems. Depending on how often you get it, that's 365 times 100. That's 36,000 gems in a year, possibly. Now, that's not going to happen, but you also do get these different decos, too, which are worth it. And now the Heart of the Flames, you can see here, also the same thing. I can get 100 gems every time I open them. Um, and you'll see I got 100 gems here out of three, too. So um, that's another way to get gems and rack them up. Um, you guys will see in my items here. I don't use my gems. That I try not to open these ones. These are kind of like my emergency reserve. Um, and I try to just use the ones there. One thing that's really underutilized and not really mentioned a lot is to be in an active clan. Getting your gifts every day is huge. <clears throat> Whether you're getting people buying gifts or even just f finishing your Warhammers in a day, getting the Alliance Treasure gives you quite a bit of gems every time it's unlocked. Um, I've even seen some servers go as far as cycling through new alliances once they get to too high of a level, just so that they can start over again and get the lower level more frequently. Um, I haven't done the math to see if that actually pays off, but that's an idea for some people if they really want to do it. Um, the downside to that is you're in a new alliance, so your tech's going to be lower and you're not going to be able to hold as many people possibly too. So um, kind of a trade-off there of what you want to do are able to do. So this is kind of my tips and tricks on saving gems. Um, 
I don't ever buy gems, so everything you see here is just stuff I've earned through the day, through playing. Um, I buy my VIP stuff every week, so that's about 9 to 10k a week. So you can see I still get enough to keep gaining gems in my number on the top and in my inventory. So um, I hope this helps you all be able to save gems for events. Um, kind of with events, big thing that I always say is make sure you spend in bulk, not just little bits here and there. Spending in bulk almost always yields better rewards, so keep that in mind as you're doing things like Heroes Return and things like that. Um, usually better to spend in bulk instead of spending 5,000 gems on every single event. So um, with that, hope you all enjoy the content. Please remember to like and subscribe if you do, and see ya!